You have five minutes. I got Lasca Hirlock and I too, Minister, would like you to welcome you to the House this afternoon. I would like at the outset to compliment uh, Senator Rand's contribution there, and there is enough material in her opening remarks for a debate for another day, and I would compliment her, her heartfelt sentiments in relation to the issues that she raised. Uh, just two quick points, Minister, I would like to bring to your attention. Uh, first of all, in relation to the Class S stamp for county councillors. When it comes to this particular issue and councillors' terms and conditions, I'm reminded uh, of the old Chinese proverb that goes something like, a journey of a thousand miles begins with one single step. Now, I indeed compliment you for taking this single step, and indeed I compliment AILG and LAMA in relation to the contributions they've made in relation to this as well. You are to be complimented, Minister, in acknowledging the role of the councillor. Uh, uh, and the role that they do, there's an awful lot of extra work to be done in relation to that. And I wonder and look forward to the contribution of your colleague, Mr. Coveney, uh, and what he's going to bring forward, hopefully, in the not too distant future. But in relation to Class L stamp, just a couple of questions. Uh, is there an opt out facility in relation to that particular Class S for councillors that wish to opt out? Uh, and was any consideration given to that if the answer to that question is no? Uh, other councillors or other senators rather has mentioned about rebates and credits given to uh, councillors that have already made payments uh, and it's something like um, I would like to comment on as well and just to confirm when exactly the new regime will be put in place um, second issue I would like to raise is the issue of statutory redundancy currently the, the full, uh, full payment of statutory redundancy falls totally on the shoulders of the self-employed. I think this is a, a very backward step uh, and it's something, Minister, I would ask you maybe to look at. Um, I think it's uh, an impediment currently to employers to take on uh, staff because, as I say, the full payment falls on their shoulders. Uh, I think you go as far as to say it even acts as a disincentive to employers. And in some cases, it could encourage some, um, some employers uh, to go into receivership uh, as, a, as an easy way of opting out of redundancy payments. Whereas I think the old regime that was in place up to recent years, whereby the state paid a contribution to it, uh, was very worthwhile. And I would ask you, Minister, maybe that you might look at maybe reintroducing that scheme in some shape or form, even over a phased basis as resources would allow. But I think it's important that some kind of scheme is put in place as soon as possible. Gordon,